Hi, I'm Beatrix, and we are finally back in No Man's Sky. And today we are starting a brand new save. We're doing this because I thought it would be a good idea to have a brand new save before the expedition that launches tomorrow. But to be able to do that expedition, we have to be able to summon the anomaly. So that's our goal today. Thank you. What type of planet is this? Uh, toxic. Okay. Hi, little red bulby multi tool. Oh, I can see sodium. Thank you. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Nice. Perform a scan to find sodium. I already found sodium, so let's do it. Scanner damaged. Okay. So, let's get some ferrite dust. Extract ferrite dust by shooting small rocks. Fine. Repair scanner. Thank you. Recharge hazard protection. So there's more sodium over here. So let's go get that. That's we need carbon as well. <laughs> Can't do that, apparently. Okay, press X. And charge. Thank you. Oh, that's cute. Let's get some carbon and things. And let's head towards our spaceship. Where is it? Oh, over here. So, there's a bit of sodium over there. Oh, we need these as well. Dihydrogen. Let's just get a bunch of everything. Oh, right. Before we head towards the starship. Over here was my sodium. Let's try and get that. We can't run for shit. Do we have this? Oh my god, you're so cute. Can I have you? Oh. I want it. I want you. I can't make creature pellets, can I? No, I cannot. It's too bad. So I thought it would be a good idea to start a new save. Maybe we will get a bit of a head start if we try and do the expedition on this save. The one that I think will go live tomorrow, which is February 14th, which is also Valentine's Day. If you care about that sort of thing. don't. Maybe you do. Let me know. Do you? Do you guys celebrate Valentine's Day? And if so, how? 
I usually don't. I think it's better to be loving every day. And here's our ship! Hello, Radiant Color. Nice to be back. So, what did we get? Nothing. Nanites. Oh, oxygen. Nice. This is where I'm going. Scenario, iteration, something, something deleted, boundary, separation, failure, likely. Got a mini atlas. Vessel, impeded, cause, sentinel, intervention, deliberate, transfer. So, does this mean that the sentinel shot us down? Analysis. Fresh iteration generated a non anomaly containment prepared. Let's just broadcast. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. Investigate the crashed ship mind if I do. Oh, do we have the, the thing? No, that's not the thing. No, we don't have the thing. We have the mining beam. I want the... Uh, rain manipulator. Here, ship. Yes. Radiant pillar. Online, yes. Atlas connection, intermittent. Launch thrusters offline. Pulse engine offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Let's read the log. Unavailable. Okay. Substitute data. Exosuit connected. Suggesting pilot should perform maintenance. Hold it. Repair ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. So I need a hermetic seal and metal plating. Launch thrusters critically damaged. So, I, can I make this one? Yes. I can make the metal plating. Got it. And for this one, pure ferrite and dihydrogen jelly. Okay, so we need to... Build this one. Oh, and we got 30 oxygen. That's awesome. So let's... Portable refiner, thank you. And fuel. Ferrite dust, maybe half of that. 54. I needed 50, right? No. Yep, 50. Jelly. Got it. So, thrusters repaired. How lovely. And now, board the starship and consult ship's diagnostics. Sure. What was that? So something is functional. <clears throat> Starship critically damaged, vital ingredient missing. 
Unable to synthesize required components, pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Please help. Recommendation. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary charged from the stress beacon shard. Okay. Well, let's do that then. I appear inside the beacon's housing as well as its distress de-stress broadcast unit, it contains a planetary shard. Take that one. Give me the map. And then... Let's use, use it. So we need to head over there. So let's do that. No point in waiting. Just need the sodium over here. Of course. Always. Let's run. Oh! We need condensed carbon. What's oh, all the way over there? Why can't I? Something is wrong. Please change something. I know. Why am I so slow? Right. Run! Run! Why can I not do the thing with the thing? Why can I not do the thing? Something is wrong. Or shield. Okay. This is not the one I was supposed to be in. This was the one. Hollow archive. <clears throat> Accessing archive. Logs corrupted. Six out of seven. Okay. Entry follows. No one making this recording in case. Leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Visor damaged. Can't find ship. Cover supplies. The log finishes and the machine wears to life, spitting out supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, message perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do how lovely I want to be able to make oh sure what else what else can I do yes and maybe Personal force field, no point in doing that. Uh, I don't have any chromatic metal, so let's just do what I am able to fix right now, which is the analyze visor. So maybe we can get some units because there wasn't enough here, there wasn't a lot in here. Some stuff. 
Yeah, let's get back to the ship. Why can I not do the thing? Am I broken? Or is my jetpack just too... Too, 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 too. Too bad. Is it crap? Not upgrade enough. I don't know. I should be able to. But I can't. Okay. Hello, ship. Repair pulse engine. And don't mind if I do. Got it. Uh, no, it's not. Just pick this up. All system functional return to your ship. Okay. Take off. Yeah. Seek answers amongst the stars. Five planets, one moon, by team. Develop. So what is this? Low atmosphere. Ooh, we got a paradise planet. A blue one. In our starter system. Seems too good to be true, actually. Trinium rich asteroid. Yeah, we're gonna do that. But there was more planets. Isn't it? So a tiny little moon. Barren moon, ancient bones. Let's just uh right. Test boost. Let's do that. Yeah. Test pulse engine. Lovely. I'm just gonna follow the tutorial. Incoming message. Well, hello. Incoming transmission. Source 4925B. I wonder what that is. Or where. Please identify yourself. I'm Gzd. Uh, I don't know who I am, but yeah. You are not alone. <clears throat> Follow the something. The broadcast ends as strangely as it began. Not very strange at all, actually. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Input coordinate data. Alert. Navigational data received. Follow the coordinates to find the signal source. Pilot toward coordinates marker and engage the pulse drive. Oh, it's on the paradise planet. Very nice. I hope it's nice weather. Oh, I need to shoot some asteroids. something. So let's go to the paradise planet and the signal source to finish the tutorial so we can get to the anomaly. I've never actually been stranded in space in No Man's Sky. Uh, I don't know what happens. Oh no, it's not the paradise planet. Oh yes it is. What happens? If you somehow don't have enough fuel to get anywhere, you slowly die, and then what? Oh, 
approximate location. Oh well, let's just do this the way they intend to do it. Maybe not. Landing area or not? <gasps> Mellow weather, sentinel spread thin. Uh, can't really see what it looks like, but new planetary record, largest planet. I think this will be home. Oh, stop it! Oh, we got flying worms, blistering floods. Hmm. Okay. So not. <clears throat> but good enough to start with. Good enough for a starter base. What is this? Oh, curious deposits. Are those uh no? Say the did they go? Um, oh, right. Oh, runaway mold. This could be really good, actually. Ow. You bastard. Right, so, yeah. This way. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Oh, running so slowly. I discovered this. And I got navigational data. So, let's try this. Broken technology. The sparking wires of the machine generate a signal, tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left this me message is long gone. Let's decipher a signal. Decoding. 16, 16, 16. Entry. No fuel in something failed to reach station hazard. Protection low, no choice but to go underground, I guess. Uh, deploy the base computer. As well as the log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. Yay! With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Give me those plans. So I now need chromatic metal. And I need to install the terrain manipulator. So one nanotube and one dihydrogen jelly. Can I do that? I sure can. What? Didn't, oh, two nanotubes. Got it. Gather copper. Don't mind if I do. Right. Never mind. Oh, we have that that one as well. We're gonna need these. A lot of them. So much data. So I need the copper. <clears throat> 400, 500 and sodium, paraffin, neum. I need the copper. A bit closer, please. Ooh, unknown building. I have to get that. Okay. Well, let's do it then. I 
still can't do the thing. Why can I not do the thing? That's a most inconvenient place for copper to be. Okay, so terrain manipulator and Let's make sure we have the smallest ball. We can get a lot of copper out of this one. No Man's Sky, we like tiny balls. This color is not quite a copper color. Let's see, did we get everything? Oh no, we didn't. This always bothers me, I don't know why. It shows... There's still copper here when I don't think there is any. Ah, never mind. So how much did we get? 352. Well, it's enough to make the thing. Yeah, quite a nice planet. Very blue. Extremely blue, in fact. Well, I have oxygen, so it doesn't matter. Yes, I will deploy the um, portable refiner, but I want to get to my ship first. Because that's where I want to put down the base computer, right by the runaway mole. Was that the deepest ocean? <laughs> oh my god. It's like two meters. I will be updating that planetary record very soon, I think. Oh no, you don't. Oh, you did. Even though I'm like five meters away. Bastards. Flowers, and here's my mold, and here's my starship, and let's put the portable refiner right here. And no, not that one. It's a regular carbon and copper. So maybe half of it. 88. Is that enough? No. Oh yes. Let's get this buried technology while we wait. Oh! Suspicious has hazard protection module. Times one. Don't mind if I do. Over here, now let's do it like this. So, what did that get me? Toxic resistance, heat resistance, radiance resistance 3%. Three, 3%. Three That's not that good, but it's better than what I have. Oh, there was two? How nice. Okay, so it should be ready now. Oh, I discovered something. Right. Here we go. And I want to put my base right about here. Yeah. Hello. Registered the land as your own. Sure thing. Searching cartography archives. Universal archive search reveals no prior claims to this site. Sonar test confirms the site is suitable for construction claim site. Hell yeah. 
What a beautiful place. How nice. Search the base computer archives use terminal with E. <clears throat> Accessing log from previous user. Entry follows. Storms sweeping across something but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans while something need to something back soon. Extract plants. Ooh. I can build. Okay, so now I need to do this quickly before the storm gets here, right? Uh, so... Can I just... Can I get a... I don't have any stairs, I don't have anything. So just... Can I please... Get it... Somewhat straight or still like that. Here it comes. So let's build a door. Oh shit. Um, okay, let's not build a door. Let's build walls then. Yes, yes. And... I don't have enough ferret dice to do this, I think. Or do I? Yes, I do. Got it. So this should be enough. Yes. If I stand here, it's enough. So let's pick up the portable refiner and put it inside. So we can do the pure ferrite thing. While the storm is here. Maybe. Okay, so let's uh, edit. So move. Let's move you in here. Okay. And let's build a door. It. Do I have lights? Flora containment. Why would I need that? Visible ornament to beautify your base. Okay, so now you are a beautified base. But no lights. Nothing like that. Standing light. Nice. So let's do that. Light, insufficient power. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Accessing log from previous user, additional archives recovered. Entry follows. Construction largely something a success. Recovered salvage data from nearby. Plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Beginning search. Extract plants. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have to. I have access to their plants, and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Magnetized ferrite. Is the storm cleared? Yes, it is. So I need 
All right, dust. No. Often you bite. Often you bite. I never actually took the time to read these names, but that was fun. Let's get more often you bite. Right, advanced mining laser. No, 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 Stay there, please. Okay, so magnetized ferrite. So we need pure ferrite into magnetized ferrite. 37, how much did I need? 20, okay. To do what? Nanotubes? Nope. Yes. Right. Construction unit. Let's put you here. Minor warning. Incoming storm. Spend the salvage data at a construction research unit. Well, let's do that then. Analyze unit online, diagnostic suggestion, the user should recover salvage data from better technology, equip and utilized an analyze advisor, but I've done that. So let's do this. How many do I have? I have four. Very nice. Thank you. And buy a fuel reactor. Awesome. Okay. So, we need to get rid of this. Because that's just in the way. And we need to build this. Four metal plating and two carbo nanotubes to build the base teleport module. Four metal plating. And two carbon nanotubes. And voila. And now we need a Z biofuel reactor. So we need one metal plating. I can do that. Let's put you. Let's put you right here. Wait, I need... I need... Don't I have... Oh, right. I need to unlock the wire thing. This one. Thank you. And I have one more salvage data, so signal booster or save beacon. Or none of the above. <clears throat> there we go. So from here to there, and from here to there. And. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. Your, your base can be renamed, interact with your base computer, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Oh. No. Scanner detected unusual broadcast repeating 16 from the space station. Warning, end of archive records interrupted. Base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. Okay, investigate the space station in the footstep of the base computer's previous owner. So we are very close to uh, completing the tutorial. So let's do this. And let's 
go have a look. Explore space, space station. Find life form. Find life. Explore space station. Find life forms to ask about the mysterious signal. So, hi, Ensign. Boy. Okay. How about travelers? The alien draws, draws back startled. They look. Um, the look on their face tells me our conversation is over. Alright team, how about you? Corporal? With the red eyes? The life from puffs themselves up as I approach, making the, making the most of their impressive size. Perhaps they might recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer, Ask about 16. Hearing the code seems to cause the life form to shrink, a look of fear crossing their face. And then, in an instant, the fear passes. They look at me strangely, but say nothing more. He has gold eared thingies. Okay, so. How about you? Oh! How about you? The metallic being chatters away, pouring forth words in a language I cannot understand. But when I blink, I see the same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. 16. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer will be able to make something of this code. Visit the technology merchant, to visit the cartographer, take missions from the mission and use teleporter. Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to learn some Viking. Can I do that? Oi. Help. Uh, Viking. I learned the word for Viking. So how about you? I learned the gag board for trade. Oh, it's a traveler! Ooh. Should I go that route? I don't know. Do I want to get the glyphs by... Finishing the missions? Or do I want to... I think I want to buy them. But I don't have... I had like 44 nanites, that's nothing. But we know it's here. Travel. So I can also practice my language skills. So let's do that. Uh, Viking. Oh, they present me with a gift. What did I get? Oh, one gold nugget. Cheap practice language skills. So let's try Viking on you as well. Oh, I get another gift. Oh, so yeah. Let's see what we can sell. Do we have anything that we can sell? Uh, yeah, this. Let's open these. 
Right, so we have some silver and gold and stuff that we can sell. So let's sell the platinum, the silver, the gold, the nuggets. So 88,000 units. Not great, but it's more than nothing. So I'm not quite finished here. Ooh. I learned five words. I'm a beginner. May I have some navigational data? There's none. How about this one? Compare. I don't even have the units to buy that crappy C class. That's sad. Here we go. But what I wanted to do was this. Upgrade my exosuit, but I think I want to do it over here. Thousand units. Got it. And we cannot have this. Uh, this look like a yellow sausage. We don't want that. We want to change the body shape to three head. I like this one. Oh, let's go with this one. Head. And we want it actually Oh, do I want it white, or blue, or green? Let's go with all black. Yeah. Or so. Oh, white is sort of like silver. We go and armor. Yeah, let's go for this one. No markings and white. Yeah, let's keep white. Gloves. I like the three finger ones. Yep. Legs. Yeah, this is it. Boots. Nope. Uh, yeah. Backpack. I have one cape? No. Okay, well, we're gonna have to change that at a later date because this one is just too big. Banner. I got this. S class? Um. Let's do it like that. Okay, exit. Yes. Yeah, why not? I don't like the boots. Wait. Something is off. Nope, they need to be all black. Yes. Sure, why not? So let's use our newly installed teleporter and get back to base. You are so goddamn slow. My bases, yes.
So let's talk to the base computer. Archives terminated. Slick. Begin decryption. Sure. Decoding. 16, 16, 16. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings, fly to us, and claim your place among the stars. Signal acquired. Life sites detected. Lovely. Uh, possible just to signal. Where's my ship? There it is. So, how about that? course. Yeah, so we need to make a few of those just for now. This is the most annoying thing in the game approximate locations. I absolutely hate that. I hate it. Oh. Here we go. Oh, when we get some things to sell here as well. That's good. So let's go talk to this metal ball here. Emma's wings of the anomaly. Log damaged. Partial records available. The signal has led me to a wreck of a freighter. Co colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Where these message were this mess these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin. Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log blinking, awaiting input. Please let me have the log. Instead of displaying the ship, this the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. Give me that blueprint. I pulled the blueprint from the computer, but this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. All right, and now I need microprocessors. Of course I do. So yeah, we need to actually farm some stuff. Let's see what's in here. Maybe we can get the units to buy the microprocessors. One starship launch fuel. Jesus. Highest radiation level. That sucks. Let's see if this is better. Nan 20 nanites? Seriously, this is no good. This is bad. So it seems that this is not worth it. So let's just skip that. Install the hyperdrive. Yeah. I really would if I could. I need more copper and I need microprocessors. So they want me to buy it at the space station. I can do that. Oh shit. 
So I need 60,000 more units. So what is the fastest way to get those? I think it's actually by selling salvage data. Okay, so how much copper did I get? 442. So let's go to this. So we have cargo drop, buried technology. Let's go here. Something is wrong. Not that I'm complaining, it's just there's too much stuff. 85, let's do this one. I can still not do the thing, which is very annoying. Yeah, these are strange. Yeah, let's go back and see if maybe we have just enough if we sell everything. See what we can sell. Starship. Let's sell the gold. That. Uh, silver. This one. And exosuit. Uh, wait. How did I say that? What else can I do? Oh, more nanites? Yeah. Oh, now I can buy them. Nice. Microprocessors. Jesus, 15,000 units, that's nothing. So let's head back to base and refine some chromatic metal. Do the whole thing, money maker. Actually, let's delete this light. It's well, acts absolutely no use to me. Okay, aromatic metal. Thank you. Okay, so let's finalize this installation. Hyperdrive. Awesome. With no fuel. Yeah, okay. So we get that from somewhere, don't we? Oh, to diagnostic report, hyperdrive successfully installed. Hyperdrive fuel status empty. Yeah. My hyperdrive is complete. Perhaps I really will find answers out there amidst the stars. 
But without warp cells, I will be going nowhere. I need to find a source of antimatter. Tune scanner to antimatter. This is the only time you can do this? All right. Oh, shoot. But I did get one, didn't I? Yes, I did. Starship on fuel. I can have that in my starship. Yeah. Oh, from orbit. Right. <clears throat> Antimatter trace detected. Where? Here. Or uranium. So let's go here then. Approximate location, as always. I'm betting it's here. Here, it's a strange place for bearing technology, but don't mind if I do. What? Just put some stuff in the starship then. Because I need space for the larval cores. So, starship. Starship, 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 starship. And starship. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right. Now. First aid. Okay, so that's why. There was damaged machinery in there. Nanites. Terminal online. Universal translation service reached life form dictionary available. Hmm. Darn word. I'm not sure I've ever learned a word that way. So what's in here? Ew, that's disgusting. Sodium. More sodium. More ammunition. <clears throat> Don't really need that because I haven't even gotten got a weapon yet. But okay, so deserted terminal. Let's get these. Terminal online. Selecting key, decrypting. Success! The terminal is clogged with an unner unnerving post <laughs> postulating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. Okay. The device opens. Uh, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye, it prints out a blueprint for antimatter, accompanied by a strange message. Take blueprint and read long. You will find us when the time is right. 
okay. The eye of the anomaly, okay. And we learned how to make antimatter. And that's awesome. So, now for this. No. I usually just... Oh, fudge. I usually just run around. Uh, for as long as I can. Usually this works pretty well, sometimes it doesn't. We'll see how I possess. Missed me. Okay, missed it. Oh shit. Ow. What? I didn't get one? Oh shit. Nor did I get on there. Mm. Ow. Okay. Well, that's fine. Just down here. Is that all of them? No, I think that's all of them. And we managed to get them without dying. So that's a good thing. We are super slow. Super, super, super slow. I so need upgrades. How many did we get? We got 23. That's not bad. So we need antimatter, antimatter house, and warp cell. Cut it. Launch into space. So I just want to stop by the base and... and We find the larval cores. Larval, larval cores. Larval cores. Big word, apparently. to another system. I will. I just want to do this first. So... Finally. Maybe we can get some upgrades now. So, scanner upgrades are my first priority. So let's see if they have any, any, any good ones. Ooh, barely made it up there. Uh, exosuit upgrades, here we go. So, what have you got for me? Thermal protection, underwater protection, and thermal protection. That sucks. I, I'm actually not gonna uh, waste my nanites on A-class upgrades. I, 
I don't want to. So let's see what the next system has to offer. Warp to another system with the galaxy map. Sure thing. Here, here. Let's take this one. Corbux one. Just because I imagine when you talk to the aliens, you get more sort of technology from the Corvax than you do from the other races. Could be. Oh, booming. Nice. Starship monitoring system reports error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching. 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 Obtained. Destination in 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. Something. ALS. Accept new guidance. Well, of course. Guidance accepted. Plotting route. Fuel source detected. So what is this? <gasps> Ooh, look at that. What is that? A toxic? Misty planet. Nice. Okay, but I actually want to go to the space station first and see what type of upgrades they have. I need something for my scanner. Like, right now. <clears throat> Can I? Thank you. So we need... Yeah, we need this one. So give me some S-class upgrades, please. Life support. I. Oh my god, I am so fucking stupid. Jesus Christ. Maybe I should go to the person that actually sells upgrade for multi tools if I want to buy a scanner upgrade. Oh god. This is so bad. Um, no. So what is this? Do I want this? Compare. I do, but I cannot afford it. Oh well. Never mind then. I do need these. So, no upgrades. So, let's go to the automatic guidance thingy. And we will soon be at the anomaly. I hope. Fuel source. Proximate location. What a surprise. Do we think it's here, maybe? Should we try it? It is. Let's learn some Corvax. This entity is the entity is the entity is the what? An 
This structure is unlike anything I've ever I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is so obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stared at words formed themselves in my mind, a strange fragment of broken speech. Speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? Uh, it is friend. It feels strange responding to a question I am sure I am unsure that I am being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense that something has awoken, that someone is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? Um... First? I do not know how I am being spoken to. This monolith is ancient and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have they seen the Crimson Eye? Has the Crimson Eye seen them? Uh, it has seen the eye. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert. Alert. All boundaries fall, the walls collapse, our universe waits. Your universe waits. Find us, Traveler. Oh, I got a warp song. Well, thank you. Find the mysterious messenger, make your way into space. Alrighty then. It is. Explore nearby planets or search in a new system. Ah, uh, new system. Let's try this one. Another Viking system. Failing economy. Well, let's go here. Ooh! Incoming transmission. Source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. Uh, okay. You left me. Why did you? Um, I don't understand. I wonder what's gonna happen now when I get into this space station. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd say that. Just like the others. Like the others. Who am I speaking to? There's no reply, the communicator falls silent through the channel, though the channel remains open. I think I need to... Oh, coordinates received! So, let's go here then. Oh, shut up. I don't have time for pirates. I am too noob. Oh, come on. Can I even do this? Apparently I can. Over here. Approximate location. Let's 
eerie sound. Decode the stranger's signal. Signal appears to originate from the splash beacon. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. Extract records. Give it to me. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. Nice! We need wiring looms. They cost units. Okie dokie then. And let's... Uh, repair. Life ship. Yeah, I know. What? Hermetic seal metal plating. And yeah, that's it. So let's sell this. <clears throat> Sorry, Artemis. I need the units. Oh, hello! Artemis entered with me. You recovered your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Priest Entity Nada is speaking to us. Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity? Yes. Your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in contact hacked before, I think. This would be a good time to come on board, yes? A proper introduction to our home. Yay! Oh, hello, Space Anomaly. I'll get to you in just a second. I need to sell this piece of shit first. Scrap this piece of junk and get some units. Not a lot, but some. Oh, three million. Why not? Claim. Oh, shit. Uh, right, let's go sell these. Sell, sell. Yeah, sure, so... I get these as well. Another... 5,000 units. Okay, I should have enough... ...available space now. In my inventory. Final shield BS2 and all cargo will be destroyed. Yes. So, what else did I get? Pipe drive and starship shield. So, let's sell the upgrades. Start building up a healthy supply of nanites. Oh. So slow. So. So. And so. Things are looking up on the units front. Anyway, so we needed two of these, right? 
are you doing? Leave me alone. Uh, no, multi-tool. And, yes! Let's change back to that one. I guess I did that one now. And now... Let's go to the anomaly! Ooh, I'm a magnate. Magnet. Magnate. So where did the anomaly go? I'll just call it in. Here we go. The end of our journey. For this first episode, we reached the anomaly, which was what we set out to do. And next time, we will explore the anomaly. So this was a fairly long episode. I don't think I will do with them uh, quite this long. But... Yeah, so... Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this and you want to see more, you know what to do. And I really hope to see you next time, where we will be exploring the anomaly. Until then, bye!